Welcome to TPM's 4-Minute Fridays. My name is Bruce Harris. I'm the Senior Application Engineer. And today's topic is going to be making text in Revit MEP Electrical symbols right-hand read. So with that said, let's go ahead and switch over to Revit. Now that we're in Revit, we're going to go to the Systems tab and place an electrical device. And the device we're going to use today is going to be the standard duplex receptacle out of the box. Now we're going to use the GFCI member of the family. So we have some text. And notice as I place it, it is simply rotating it around. So it is not maintaining what we would call right hand read. So this is upside down up here. Also, this symbol is a little low and into the wall, and I want to raise it up and, and kind of bring it out of the wall a little bit as well while we're in there. So I'm going to select the family member and go to Edit Family. And this is going to bring up the family editor. Now, when you come into the family editor, you're in a 3D view. So I'm going to go over to my project browser and change to a floor plan to the reference level here. Zoom in. Now all these reference lines that you see, those have to do with creating the, the plate and the box, the 3D symbols of this. What we're interested in, however, is the symbolic symbol. So when I select that, you'll notice that Edit Family is available again. And that's because this is a nested family, a family within a family. So I'm going to edit the symbolic representation here. Now to make it right hand read is very simple. In this first screen before you select anything, if you come over here and say keep text readable, that will make the symbol right hand read. Now do not confuse it with the keep readable as a function of the text, totally separate things. The one you need to do is keep text readable right here. Now that I've done that, I also want to reposition that text so it's not in the wall. So I'll move it up and to the right a little bit. Let's say I'm happy with this representation. So I'm going to load this into the project. Now make sure you load it back into the duplex receptacle, not your main project, because once again, this is a nested family. So we're going to bring it back in here and we're going to override our existing version. And when I do, if I select the symbolic representation, you see the question mark, which represents our text, is up and to the right of its original location. Now while we're in here, I want to do one more thing. I want to go into my family types, and I want to change the data which this GFCI is being driven off of, which is our label data. And I want to take it from the other category and put it into the identity data category. So I'm going to select it, modify, and change the category to identity data. Now it came down here third from the top and I would really like to make it up at the top so it's a little more um, a little easier and faster to get to. So I'm going to move this up. Now that function of uh, allowing us to reorder our parameters is new in 2015. So now that I've got it where I want it, so I'm going to go OK and then I'm going to load this into the project. Now this will be our main project we're loading it into. And when we do, you'll notice when we overwrite that all of our symbols are now updated and they are all in the correct orientation. They've been pulled off the wall a little bit and they are in right hand read. So this is not upside down anymore. Now one other thing while we're talking about these symbols that I'm going to do, I'm going to select the symbol and I'm going to go over here and go edit type and I'm going to duplicate it. Now once you've got one of these you can duplicate it and make other symbols from it. So I'm going to make a waterproof receptacle from it. So now I have a waterproof receptacle in my family. So now my family has three members GFCI, standard, and waterproof. This has been another presentation in the series of 4-Minute Fridays from TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I want to thank you for joining us and invite you to come back and watch again. Thank you.